Welcome to NTV at One. The demolition of some structures at Centenary Park to create way for public works has started. The demolition was meant to start on Friday, but instead soldiers from the Special Forces Command, SFC, were deployed at Centenary Park as the president made different, met different parties embroiled in this row. National Water and Sewerage Corporation intends to lay water pipes in this area, while Uganda National Roads Authority intends to construct a flyover. Suhail Mugabe is at Centenary. Uh, Suhail, good afternoon. We understand that uh, after the discussion these folks had with the president, they were given, now long estates that is, an extension of six months. What has changed now? Suhail, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, uh, Joel. Uh, the demolition began, the exercise began at around 9 a.m. this morning. And uh, the people who are carrying out the demolition are officials from National Water and Sewerage Corporation. Actually, the company they contracted to build a pipeline here at Centenary Park. Now, the part that is being demolished is the part that is near the substation, the, 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 Ch the Chintante substation, and uh, where the taxis park just near Centenary Park. Now, the, peop the places uh, so far, a few buildings have been put down, and right now the demolition exercise is still going on. They are pausing for a brief moment uh, because there are some, uh, there are some cables, uh, some cables, some some telephone lines that are in, that are just adjusted to Sydney Park. For now, there are very many people who, as you can see, if you can even look, if you can get a view from this side, you can see that there. Are, the part of the contractors are here in their work gear, ready to start their work as soon as uh, as soon as uh, as soon as they commence. Uh, for the other people who have businesses here, restaurants, uh, bars, and uh, some uh, cafeterias, they have managed to pull their, some of their belongings out. They were warned yesterday that today they would go ahead with the demolition exercise. So some of them came this morning and picked their property, trying to put it on the side. Not a very big area has been demolished and uh, not very many structures have been put down so far. But the exercise is still going on and we're still waiting. We're still waiting to see up to until what time or when will they stop uh, with this exercise. We, are, we, we saw earlier in the morning some of the contractors around here trying to give advice to the people who are carrying out the work. But now they seem to have gone somewhere else because the, the work, the catchment area is, a bi is, is, is big. Uh, the, the people from Nalongo Estate uh, who are in charge of Centenary Park uh, have been present here today and uh, we can see that uh, Amot Nyakana is here well, and uh, would like to find out a word from him to see what he has to say in regard to what's taking place. Yeah, uh, Khan is uh, English. English yeah. yeah, we had a good understanding with National Water. We have an, I mean, an MOE with them and uh, we have no problem. They do their work, they pipe, they pass their pipes, then they, re they reinstate. Okay. Mm. Uh, they say that uh, after carrying out some of the work, that the area will be again, will be left to, to some some uh, some temporary structures will be put up uh, after after National Water lays its pipe. And uh, so far, how is the work going? And uh, wh how have you seen the demolition exercise? Well, the, the process is going on well, and uh, I think. The, the faster and better, the first is be, faster the better because then people can reinstate their sheds and then they can still uh, make their livelihood because now uh, if their structures are gone, it means their business is gone. So the faster they do the work, the better, then they reinstate, then the people can come back and, and do their work. Okay, we have seen that it has been a smooth exercise. What the, what the people told in advance who are working from here to take away some of their property just in, uh, in time? Not in time, but we, we had no choice because we wanted to sort this thing out. KCC, not KCC, I'm sorry, Gen Farm C was implying that we have, we have refused the government to do these programs. And now we wanted to show that actually she was telling lies. And I think you've seen the programs are on. And uh, people were trying to secure people's small properties and ensure that no one is hurt during the process. So this is positive uh, for us as Ugandans and uh, Nalongue states. Uh, to say, and, and I hope uh, it is done fast so that people can come back and do their work. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now you've heard from uh, the director of Nalongo Estates, Amoti Godfrey Nyakana, and uh, now the exercise is going on. We shall bring you more pictures of this exercise 
uh, here at Sydney Park.